Keir Starmer has just expelled film director Ken Loach from the Labour Party. Labour members, I want a word, please. Keir Starmer's polling took a hammering the day he overturned an NEC panel to ensure Jeremy Corbyn remained suspended from taking his place as a Labour MP. Today, he demonstrated in no uncertain terms that he intends to prove he can poll even lower by seeing Ken Loach expelled from the Labour Party. We knew already that he was coming after members of left-wing groups prescribed by the now majority right-wing NEC in an effort to purge socialists from the party. And Ken was an official sponsor of one such group, Labour Against the Witch Hunt. He was apparently deemed unfit to be a member because he refused to disown those he stood alongside on this. And why on earth would he do such a thing if he believes in it? He's not you, Starmer, you spineless believe-in-nothing twunt. His has been a life of socialism and filmmaking. More often than not, the two blending, shining a light on the injustices of society and exposing those responsible over the last 60 years. Films like Kathy Come Home, Kez or I, Daniel Blake have exposed the gritty, hard-nosed reality of life for too many people over far too many years. The rank inequality and the preservation of that from successive governments finally coming close to ending it. Corbyn's leadership and snatched away from us by the very shits now leading Labour into electoral oblivion, like Keir frigging Starmer, believing the only way they can win is to purge anyone who wouldn't be just as good a fit in the Tory party itself. Starmer's defenders, chiefly coming from the Tory press, have opted to smear Loach with accusations of Holocaust denial, something he has absolutely never done. Litigation would be a deserved response to this, but when Starmer supporters have demanded the prescription of left-wing Jewish groups, apparently with no action required, they're skating awfully close to accusations of anti-Semitism themselves. Let's also not forget that the party that is apparently at no place for Ken Loach is a place for Trevor Phillips. Readmitted to Labour despite complaints of Islamophobia made to the party, completely unactioned upon still to date. It was almost predictable, though. The left had a good day yesterday. We actually did. We secured the votes to elect Seema Chandwani and Billy Hayes back onto the Conference Arrangements Committee. So Starmer has spat his dummy and decided the left needed reminding that they aren't wanted, that we should know our place. So deals us a psychological blow in the form of expelling one of our best loved, highest profile members. Make no mistake, this move was made to demoralise us, to encourage more of us to leave. It's Labour conference next month and there's every chance dictatorial David Evans, Starmer's as yet unratified General Secretary, will get voted down. We need to make sure our delegates know in no uncertain terms that that is exactly what they must do. We need to stay and fight because right now there is no viable alternative to power for us, for socialism. Yes, we want the Tories out above all else, but for that we have to be electable and we cannot be electable when our leaders are more interested in attacking us than attacking them. And why? Because they have more in common with those bloody Tories than they do with us, ordinary left people such as ourselves. Never forget that Starmer has been shown to have lied to get elected leader. He has not kept his 10 pledges. He has not been an effective opposition. He is losing council seats and by-elections around the country. And he absolutely must, must be sent a message from us now that it is he, he that must go. And we can start by ensuring he has the Labour conference from hell. He's asked for it. His attacks on us, his appalling treatment of so many members, not least Jeremy and Ken. We can start by sending Evans packing. We can start by calling him out for the snivelling Tony Blair wannabe that he is. And we need to send a message as well to those left Labour MPs that their strongly worded letters are only ending up in often emptied bins. Stop writing letters, stop and stop procrastinating. Do something before there's no party left for you to belong to, or us. Len McCluskey's words from the other day should be ringing in your ears. They were absolutely on point. With Starmer at the helm, the Labour Party could, well, go under. There's nothing positive that can be said of Starmer's tenure as leader. There's literally nothing. It's time we took our party back. It's time the socialist campaign group stood up and made themselves counted. And conference is our chance to fight back. Let's not waste it. Otherwise, what sort of a party is there for the likes of Jeremy and Ken to come back to? Well, with that losing streak of Starmer, as I mentioned, you can hear all about it on that video there.